Howdy folks, can't be here. Thanks for joining us for this week's segment of D-Bag, Don't Be a Dick. This week we're going to discuss uh, another supermarket offender known as the produce groper. Naturally, when we're at the supermarket, we want to get the freshest, most appealing of produce. Uh, whether you're talking about fruits, vegetables, whatever it is. You check them out. Some have visible um, defects. Others you don't know until you feel them. So you feel it once. Check it for consistency, and you can make a pretty good assessment on one squeeze, gentle that is, uh, whether it's good, bad, or otherwise. Um, however, they're out there. You see them all over. There's some people who need to take a a little more physical action on these uh, pieces of produce and it, it, it's a little awkward. It's a little strange. Um, really any more than one squeeze and you're practically in a dating relationship. That's just not right. That's not how this works. This shouldn't be happening here. Okay, knock it off. You shouldn't be stroking it or doing anything more than checking it once. Um, I don't care if you're talking about grapes, avocados, kumquats, melons, whatever it is. Check it once, give an assessment and move on. Don't linger and hang around. You're like a tier two disturbing predator at this point. Um, again, this isn't the time or place for this kind of activity. Um, these folks are around and you'll see them from time to time. Ooh, these limes and banana are super soft, but perfect. Nice produce. Okay, so if you do encounter this person, um, stay away, stay far away. Uh, again, remember, tier two, something's not right. Their cheese has slipped off their cracker and they're a little off. They're in the wrong place at the wrong time. And Step away, don't even bother engaging, just be on your way from this person. Um, folks, thanks for tuning in, thanks for laughing. Uh, if you like this, please consider liking and subscribing down below. Um, and please, don't be a dick. Cheers. Figure it out, you're